hello friends good afternoon all of you and let's begin for today's communication skills class okay uh, i think that last time we people have started with tenses if you remember that we people have completed a present tense and i think that we have done with past tense also have you completed past tense and i guess like this we are about to start today future tense is it right yes sir okay all right so uh, let's begin for it okay right now only 53 students are connected so again i think that students are not joining on time so you know that i wait for five minutes initial five minutes i am waiting so that students can join but still if students are not joining that is not fair so i will not allow such students to join later on also take note of this and uh, i think that today you people have isc also in 6 to 8 pm okay so already we people have discussed once again uh, have we discussed what kind of question paper pattern or not no sir no sir no sir okay if we have not discussed first of all we will discuss question paper pattern and then we will go towards tens okay uh, so you know that isc for CS, it will be for how many marks? 30 marks. CS, ISC 1, that is going to be for 25 marks, okay? And it will not be for 30 marks. It may be for 30 marks for other subjects, but for CS, it is going to be for 25 marks, okay? I remember this and for 25 marks you are going to have five questions okay and that is into five marks each so that you may get these 25 marks here like this so uh, for this 25 marks we are going to cover those things only that we people have done okay uh, so question first here it is going to be based on articles okay that is going to be based on articles for five marks okay and you know this time you people are going to have uh, a kind of uh, paper and pen write-up of uh, exam so here this time you are not having MCQs multiple choice questions here for articles okay rather than you are going to have question of fill in the blanks type it means that there is one sentence which is given with a blank and in uh, at that blank you have to just uh, insert the correct article for example it can be like this uh, he saw and then there is blank and then there is one word he saw dash equal okay here you are not going to get any kind of options like a or an or the or no article because uh, previously when you people attempted unit test first that time it was mcq so you people were choosing a an or the but right now you have to write answer you have to fill in the blank so what will come here in place of blank and an eagle so you are going to write answer in full sentence in full words okay nobody is going to write answer like this if this is the question and you are mentioning only answer like this and okay if there is only and you are not going to get marks you are supposed to write answer in full sentences okay is it clear any questions here about question one Sir, only answer like this, not question. Do you only answer? No, no, only one sentence. You're writing this, and in that only you are mentioning answer here, and you are underlining it. So there is no need to write same line. First of all, you are writing this, and below that uh, with blank, and with uh, below that you are writing with answer. No need to write it two times. Write only once, but write with answer full sentence. Okay. Okay, sir and uh, this question is also need not to be written okay so uh, question can be something like this fill in the blanks with correct articles 
that again uh, need not to write simply you begin with question number one in question number one first example and you're writing it with full sentence with answer answer will be underlined okay so okay. any, any other questions about question one about articles so you people will get five sentences and if you write all five answers correct you will get five marks here then let's go for question number two is here and this question two is based on pronoun okay and that is going to be for five marks okay so here what kind of questions will come here in fact there are no questions here there is a table okay table of what table of pronouns i think that while learning pronouns we have uh, studied a table where all personal pronouns we people have discussed their objective case their possessive uh, possessive adjective possessive pronoun these all things we people have discussed okay so in this table you people will get there are some uh, forms already mentioned some pronouns already mentioned but there are some blanks also so there are 10 blanks okay in that table there are total 10 blanks and you people have to complete all those 10 blanks with all different kinds of sometimes uh, there may be blank in first column sometimes in second column sometimes in third column it may be anywhere in that table that you have to fulfill if you complete all those 10 blanks then you will get five marks it means that one blank is for half mark and here also you have to draw the table don't write only answers you have to draw the table and you have to fill in the blanks so where you have uh, filled the blanks underline those blanks only so that is all about question number two which will be about pronoun any questions here about question number two yeah. Ah, yes, you have to draw only one table and that is with answers. There is no need to draw first of all question table and below that there is answer table. No need to draw a table two times. Only once you have to draw the table and you have to fill that with answers. Okay, any other questions about question number two? Konala Kalat Nasaltan Maradit Nuchalatri Salta. Then let's go to next question number three. We shall. No, sir, no information. Then question number three, it will be based on correct form of verbs. Okay, correct form of verbs. So here it will be based on verbs. Also, it you can relate it with tense also. In fact, it is based on tense, but uh, that question will be use the correct form of verbs okay and here also you are going to get five sentences for five marks so what kind of questions will come here here you people will get one sentence like this for example he here is blank in bracket you get one verb Okay, this is one sentence and you have to correct, you have to use correct verb form which is given here in the bracket. So, uh, if you read this sentence, he, here is a blank, to college every day. So, from every day, you people can understand what kind of verb form will be there. So, uh, who will tell me what will come here? Goes. Goes. Goes okay. So from every day we come to know this is the activity. This action takes place regularly every day. Repeated action. So we need to use your simple present tense okay. And in simple present tense we all know that we people use first form of verb that is v1. So which is already given here go. But we cannot use go as it is because your subject is third person singular okay third person singular he she it if there is he she it what we do we add yes or es suffix to the main verb so here it becomes he goes to college every day so such kind of sentences will be there five sentences and you are using five correct verb forms then you will get five marks here 
okay and that can be different now i give you just an example it can be any other uh, tenses that you people are expected to use or any other verb forms that you people are expected to use so any other verb forms in the sense simple present that v1 present continuous m is our vng uh, present perfect have has v3 present perfect continuous have has been vng then simple past v2 past continuous was where vng then uh, past perfect had v3 past perfect continuous had been vng simple future shall will v1 future continuous shall will be plus vng then uh, future perfect shall will uh, plus have plus v3 and last one future perfect continuous here you can have uh, future perfect continuous shall will have been ving so like this you people have to use the correct form of verb and you for that you have to read the sentence carefully if you are reading the sentence carefully you will come to know which kind of tense for example here i told you if you are reading this every day from that you will understand here it is simple future sometimes there is combination of two tenses also it can be a simple past simple past or uh, we will see some more examples also this category so that you can get a clear idea about this kind of questions okay so any difficulty about question 3 here no response it means that it is not clear is it like this at least what kind of questions will be there one verb will be given in bracket that you people have to use its correct form based on what kind of sentence is there that you have to choose it the next question number 4 so that question number 4 will be based on prefixes okay so you know that we have not studied prefixes but still there are questions because i don't think there is need to teach prefixes because simply you people can manage questions which are based on prefixes so therefore uh, we have added questions based on prefixes and suffixes also uh, so questions what kind of questions will be there for example the prefixes will be given for example if i give you this so this prefix you have to given and here you people have to write down minimum how many minimum two words you people have to write okay minimum two words so can you tell me two words which are beginning with this disconnect 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 disability. discharge discharge disagree disappoint disqualify disability disappointed <laughs> disharmony disappear so many words but here all you people understand everyone try to understand minimum how many if you write minimum two words then only you will get one mark so such five prefixes will be given here you people have to write down two words for each prefix if you write it then you will get five marks okay any difficulty here about prefixes no sir then last question is here and this last question number five is here that will be based on suffixes now okay so here also same minimum two words you people have to write to begin ending now here ending with suffixes and this is also for five marks for example if i ask you to write down words which are ending with ness so can you tell me happiness happiness sadness sadness okay minimum two if you are writing minimum two then you will get one mark here so same kind of uh, different four uh, five suffixes will be provided you have to write the words which are ending with this suffixes then you will get five marks here so this way we are going to have isc one which will be for 25 marks and if you study well if you are clear with everything i am sure that you may get 25 marks here also so any questions about overall uh, isc one
no questions no difficulty no doubt everything is clear okay all right so if you need you can take screenshot of this or maybe if you have not it down then i will make it clear okay or uh, we will just discuss some examples of question third so i will share another screen so you just ensure that it is visible so is it visible sample exercise 1.6 Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, for question number three, okay, this is for question number three. This kind of exercise will be there that you people have to practice. So first of all, see question says rewrite the following sentences using your question is correct form of verbs. So this is our question that we people have discussed this year. Okay. The so first sentence is here that says, "When you arrive tonight, we here is a blank in bracket go out for dinner." Okay, so now you, we will go. Yes. Will go. Yes. Here, if you think of this tonight, from tonight you are easily going to understand that what kind of tense you have to use. Tonight means in the upcoming night today's night yes that is why that is going to be into future so here you are going to use simple future so if you want to use simple future here you have to use shall will v1 okay so after v what do we use shall or will after v shall shall so it should be we shall go out for dinner that is right and if you write we will go then we will go out for dinner that is also right so both are right if you if you write we will go out for dinner that is right if you write we shall go out for dinner that is also right okay so that is first then let's go to second number second number says whenever we meet so here you people can get it. whenever is there meet is there okay we in bracket here is plan a trip shall plan so here now it is important because whenever we meet okay if we meet then only we plan so here you are not going to use simple future but it is going to be remain into simple present only so plan will be used here as it is without any change there will be no uh, simple future so whenever we meet we plan a trip because this is a general statement because the word whenever tells us this first one is in simple present so this one is going to be into simple present so whenever we meet we plan a trip this is going to be as it is all right then let's go here for number three the sun in bracket shine brightly yes here also all you people try to understand we all people know the sun shines every day so this is a regular activity okay so therefore it is going to come in which tense simple present tense okay and if it is simple present tense we all know we use v1 first form of verb which is already given here shine okay but you know the subject is the sun which is third person singular like he she it okay if the subject is third person singular in that case what happens we add yes or es to the main verb and so therefore here we are going to add yes to this verb so the sun shines brightly that becomes correct then let's go for number four vijay in bracket wait for me when i arrived 
what do you think i was right. waiting yes yes you people are getting it right okay so here try to understand there are two sentences which two sentences vijay wait this is one sentence and another one is i arrived so i arrived is in which tense simple past tense simple past tense okay so therefore first sentence we people are going to use it in uh, past continuous okay in past continuous what comes was where ving okay but here our subject is vijay which is singular so after vijay we people are going to use was and then main verb with ing waiting vijay was waiting for me when i arrived okay so this became your answer then let's go here for number 5 number 5 says i promise i in bracket not tell him about the surprise party will not won't tell yes so those who are telling me answer or those also try to understand you people are right those who told me answer you people are right and those who did not understand try to understand here pay attention so i promise so this is into simple present and here you know that there is surprise party so surprise party is surprise means which is coming okay and so therefore it is going to be into simple future and if it is into simple future we all people know in simple future we people use shall will v1 okay so shall will v1 but sentence is negative here not is there so what we people are going to use i shall not tell that is going to be right and if you are going to use i will not tell that is also going to be right or you can use contracted form i won't tell that is also right but it has to be into simple present tense so i promise i shall not tell him about the surprise party or i promise i will not tell him about the surprise party so this is your answer number 5 then let's go for number 6 is here that says shikhar dhawan in bracket score a century in the last match so you can get the reference here from the last match scored scored yes so all you people are right here those who are saying scored here because you know this is just recent past which says the last match and so here we are going to use it with simple past and if we have to use simple past in that case we need to use v2 here so score is v1 what is v2 here scored you are going to add a d here that became your answer shikhar dhawan scored a century in the last match okay then let's go for number 7 here number 7 says i dash in bracket get hungry let's go and have something to eat i am getting i am getting yes that is right here you are using present continuous what comes in present continuous m is r v i n g a subject is pronoun i so after i we people use m okay so therefore main verb is get you need to add i n g here i am getting hungry let's go and have something to eat so this way people can get it your answer then next number 8 is here here two blanks are there first blank in bracket there is have it means that you people have to use have forms here so which are have forms you have studied it which are have forms have has had yes you need to choose it can be have it can be has it can be had also but from the subject you can understand you is there so it can be either have or had you cannot use you has okay we never use you has so has will not be used here so you have to think between two have or has okay then you ever the next another blank is here which is visit the us before your trip in 2006 so from this 2006 you have to decide which tense you are going to use here have visited 
past which past past tense that is right but which past perfect here you are going to use past perfect okay uh, so not present perfect it has to be past perfect because you know here the 2006 that tells us that here we need to use past perfect so of how you are going to use here had okay this is in the interrogative form so we are using helping verb in the beginning so had you ever visited here we need to use v3 okay so visit v3 is visited had you ever visited the us before your trip in 2006 okay so that becomes your answer here then let's pay attention here to number nine is also here this is again quite very simple which says who in bracket invent the bicycle invented invented okay yes from bicycle itself you can understand because invention of bicycle is not today or yesterday or it is not maybe uh, so here we need to just understand we need to use here simple past it means that v2 we have to use it invent is v1 invented is v2 so your sentence becomes who invented the bicycle okay so let's try to learn it here next examples i hope that uh, any questions queries second second this one whenever we meet ha yes, sir okay so you pay attention whenever we meet this is general okay this is general je jar apan bhetlo taras ti trip plan hote okay jeva jeva ami bhetto tevha ami trip plan karto asa arth hote tacha plan karel asa nahi hai bhavishya kaal nahi vaparaycha aplyala eta म्हणून इथं आपण सिंपल प्रेझेंटच ठेवलंय दोन्ही ठिकाणी वी मीट वेन एव्हर वी मीट वी प्लॅन अ ट्रिप जे दिस इज वेन एव्हर म्हणजे जेव्हा जेव्हा आम्ही भेटतो तेव्हा आम्ही ट्रिप प्लॅन करतो सो दोन्ही ठिकाणी आपल्याला सिंपल प्रेझेंट टेनचा वापर करायचा असं होणार नाही की जेव्हा जेव्हा आम्ही भेटतो तेव्हा आम्ही ट्रिप प्लॅन करेन किंवा करू असं नाही भविष्य काळ नाही आहेत अजून कुणाला कुठलं काय कळत नसेल डाऊट आहे क्वेरी आहे युअर वॉइस इज नॉट क्लिअर प्राजक्ता परत एकदा सांग फायव्ह नंबर इज इट सो हिअर आय प्रॉमिस मी येतो वाक्य मी असं प्रॉमिस करतो की मी सरप्राईज पार्टी बद्दल सांगणार नाही सांगणार नाही सो दॅट इज गोईंग टू बी इन टू सिम्पल फ्युचर ओके बिकॉज वी टॉकिंग अबाउट युअर सरप्राईज पार्टी विच इज गोईंग टू हॅपन सरप्राईज पार्टी पुढं आहे आणि त्याबद्दल मी कोणाला सांगणार नाही असं प्रॉमिस आहे सो दॅट फोर दिस इज फर्स्ट वन इज इन सिम्पल प्रेझेंट हे पहिलं वाक्य हे सिम्पल प्रेझेंटमध्ये ओके आणि दुसरं ते येणार आहे ते सिम्पल फ्युचरमध्ये आपल्याला मांडायचं आहे ओके सो दॅट फोर हिअर आय शाल नॉट टेल किंवा दोन्ही चालतं आहे शाल आणि विल बिकॉज आय नंतर आपण वी कॅन यूज शाल वी कॅन यूज विल सो यू कॅन से आय शाल नॉट टेल हिम और आय विल नॉट टेल हिम इज इट लाईक दिस हुज वॉइस इज नॉट क्लिअर प्रोजेक्ट माय वॉइस इज नॉट क्लिअर इज इट क्लिअर इज माय वॉइस क्लिअर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अदर्स रिप्लाय okay prajakta when you are talking your voice was not clear so that i say if you are not getting my voice it means there is network issue from your side okay so you just refresh your connection and then join back any other questions any other difficulties okay then let's come here with um, number 10 number 10 is here so that says yesterday yesterday evening the phone in bracket ring three times while we in bracket have dinner 
वॉज रिंगिंग रैंग रैंग इट इज रैंग ओके देयर आर टू ब्लैंक्स फर्स्ट देन सेकंड एट सेकंड प्लस वे आर हैविंग हैविंग डिनर यस दैट इज राइट व्हाट यू पीपल आर सेइंग दैट इज राइट सो हियर टू सेंटेंसेस व्हिच टू सेंटेंसेस रिंगिंग द फोन ring that is one sentence and we have dinner this is another sentence but you know here in the beginning itself the word yesterday tells us that this is going to be in which tense past tense past tense okay past tense. if it is past tense there is combination of simple past and past continuous so here you are going to use simple past here you are going to use past continuous okay so if it is simple past we use v2 okay so here ring is there so therefore we need to use v2 that is rang okay so it becomes yesterday evening the phone rang three times now here we are going to use past continuous in past continuous what do we use was where ving was where ving okay so here v is there so v is plural we are going to use where we were now understand how is here main verb i be here main verb it is not helping verb here so therefore you have to use we were having dinner so correct sentence will be yesterday evening the phone rang three times while we were having dinner okay then let's go here with 11 number question that says when i met i met okay when i met you last time you dash think of moving a new to a new flat where thinking you was thinking where thinking where after you we don't use was okay we don't use was was is wrong so it should be where so here first case simple past i met you last time now Your past continuous that again was where we are in. So you were thinking of moving to a new flat like this. Then uh, let's go here with next number twelve is here. The twelve number says she only understood the movie because she in bracket read the book. Read the book. Read the book. so try try to understand there are two sentences with two activities one is understanding of the movie and another one is reading of the book so when there are two sentences so that time you just try to understand which action took place first whether reading of book or understanding of movie which took place first reading of book reading of a book reading of book okay so in such case you know first action you are going to use in past perfect you are going to use it past perfect and second action you are going to use it in simple past so now you can correct and tell me she had read the book read the book yes, yes. so because already here simple past is used she only understood the movie because she had read the book v3 is saying okay so she had read the book so this way the people can make it clear number 13 is quite simple i think that everybody will be able to understand this and answer this can you in bracket help me move this heavy table help as it is help okay here you are not expected to use helped or maybe any other was where them is are ing not required it will be as it is can you help me move this heavy table okay then a uh, next 14 number is here that says hello nitya i in bracket not see you for ages how are you didn't see haven't seen haven't seen you haven't seen 
haven't seen not did and see because here you know uh, greetings is here hello nitya and how are you is in present tense are is in present tense so you can't use your past tense like didn't see but rather than it will be haven't seen present perfect we are going to use here so therefore it is going to become like this hello nitya i haven't seen or have not seen okay we are using have then v3 see saw seen so seen we are using hello nitya i haven't seen you for ages how are you then let's go here for number 15 is here that says we can go out now it dash not rain anymore Isn't it's not raining. raining. It's not raining. raining. It is not raining anymore. Here you can use two tenses. That will be okay. If you use simple future. That is also okay here. Okay. It is not raining anymore. That is right. If you say it will not rain anymore, that is going to be right. Okay. Maybe uh, depending upon the context, you can decide. It can be it is not raining or it will not rain. That you have to decide. But both can be right. Then let's go here for sixteen number. He dash in bracket go to that place every year. Simple example is here. Goes. He is going. He is going. He is going. Goes. 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 Every year. He is going. Every year that tells us this action takes place. regularly or repeatedly so therefore we are using here simple present not present continuous so you cannot go for he is going okay because he is going that shows the action which is in progress which is continuous but this action is not continuous every year okay so therefore it should be he goes simple present we need to use v1 which is already given here but subject is third person singular he so we need to add es to the main verb he goes to that place every year that becomes right okay then let's go to the next 17 number is here that says there i in bracket notice how important it in bracket b to speak english nowadays there i noticed how important it has been to speak english nowadays it has been try to understand here it is b b means to be forms okay to be forms it has to be it was to speak here nowadays it, it is. is it is okay so like this once again try to understand there i noticed here simple past there i noticed how important it is why we are using is because what is expected here b means to be forms okay which are to be forms in present tense m is there in past tense was was was, was there. There. but we are not going for past we are using present to be forms and here try to understand sub, uh, subject is it so after is we cannot use am we cannot use are but we have to use it okay so therefore it is going to be like this there i noticed how important it is to speak english nowadays then here is number 18 and i dash already begin to read the novel already began began here yes you are going to use simple past that is began because already indicates that action was uh, in the past so therefore you have to say and i already began to read the novel here it is going to be simple past then here is 19 number it says if i in bracket pass my exams successfully i in bracket start an apprenticeship 
in September. Will pass will start. I will. Will pass will start. Passed my exam successfully. I will start. Passed. Passed. Do you want to use it in past tense? Passed. Pass as it is. Pass as it is. Yes. So that's right here. It should be as it is. No past tense. It should be. If I pass my exam successfully, here I shall start or I will start an apprenticeship in September. Okay. Simple present, simple future. Like this, you are going to use. And here is the last one, twentieth number. That says while I dash do the language course i in bracket meet lots of young people from all over the world while i was doing the language course i met lots of young people from all over the world yes everyone try to understand what she said is right while i was doing here we are using past continuous do is main verb with ing form okay and subject is i so we are using here was i was doing the language course now here we are going to use it simple past okay if it is simple past we need to use v2 that is met i met lots of young people from all over the world so uh, these were few examples of this category that people can just try to understand and get it clear okay uh, any doubts any questions queries about any question here you can ask otherwise we will go for how much time is left the 10 15 minutes are there so we can so last to take the song over. okay so pay attention last 20 number so there are also two blanks. Don't blank ahead. Pala blank madhe do bracket madhe ahe. Ani while ahe. So while indicates that something is in progress and something is in uh, maybe simple past. The don't tense combination ita pala bagay se. The don't tense ahe past continuous ani simple past. Okay. Me language course karat stana. So that goes into the past. Past continuous. Young people are bit low. And that is goes into simple past. Okay. So that has to be into past continuous. In past continuous, we use was where any V I N G. So I was doing that becomes right here. While I was doing the language course, I met lots of young people from all over the world. This week we are making it right. Okay, any other? Okay, let me ask Ganesh Bagal any questions. Roll number 13, Ganesh. Is it audible? Are you paying attention? I don't think you are attentive. You may be doing something else. Pradeep, roll number 17. Is it audible, Pradeep? Swapnil, roll number 18, Swapnil. Yes, sir. Uh, any questions? No, sir. Akanksha, roll number 30. Yes, sir. Any questions, Ahit Khan? Ahit, sir. Okay, all right. Maybe you just decide. If you have questions, you can ask. If you don't have, that's fine. Sir. Ha. Huh. At the uh, two tense combination as mm. present perfect ani past perfect pan combine. Mm. 
प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट आणि पास्ट परफेक्ट नाही आहेत कंबाईन मध्ये असं कुठे एक्झाम्पल आहे काय करून हा सर तेच नाही येत असं नाही येत प्रेझेंट परफेक्ट आणि पास्ट परफेक्ट नाही येत ओके ओके सो नूतन पवार विच एक्झाम्पल्स आर रॉंग इन असाइनमेंट कॅन यू एक्सप्लेन इट आय डोंट नो जे कुणाकडून रॉंग झाले म्हणजे दिलेली एक्झाम्पल रॉंग आहेत का तुम्ही लिहिलेली रॉंग आहेत माझ्याकडून all you people just ensure that you have studied well you are writing it well ensure uh, proper presentation is also required so take care of all those things and i see so we'll take attendance here and we'll stop it right now 54 students are connected so roll number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 absent who is this 8 8 absent 19 11 absent 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 absent 22 23 24 25 absent 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 absent no, 34 is there 35 36 37 38 39 absent 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 58 59 absent 60 61 62 63 absent so absent numbers for today's lecture are number 8 11 21 25 39 47 54 59 and 63 anybody is here okay fine yes shubham any question shubham no fine then uh, we will just stop it here but important is that uh, more than what you study and uh, what you are going to write in the exams practice oral communication try to speak because when you people are in first year at least you should try so when you try you know uh, when you go to second year you, you will be in position to speak uh, a little bit better uh, communication will be there but if you are not speaking english at all that is going to become a lot of troublesome for you in the future so when we are expecting good things good career opportunities in the future uh, you should be well aware about the fact that you may be getting rejected because of your poor communication in english so rather than why not to work from our first year itself so uh, make it your goal every day you should think about this that how i can improve my english communication so in english communication there are lots of activities and things that you have to do read every day something on internet you can get lots of content to read so try to read it understand it and try to think over it try to speak about that with your friends listen something uh, that is going to help you again what you understood out of that listening try to talk about that write something writing doesn't mean that writing assignments and syllabus or study material that is not writing try to write anything it can be about any person personality about your village about your college about your uh, any favorite topic about any machinery about any technology about any invention you can write something like this uh, from your own understanding okay don't copy don't write as it is from somewhere and very very important you need to speak it daily you people have to speak it uh, at least for five minutes ten minutes daily increase your stamina of speaking english if today you uh, spoke If you speak it for five minutes 
tomorrow you speak it for maybe uh, 10 minutes like this so try to be again and again you just try to work on it for example for first five minutes you are getting lots of difficulties it's okay you can try the same kind of things next five minutes there you can find there is improvement and you're speaking it in a better way so like that you have to work on it okay so with this note uh, i will end this meeting for all okay should we stop here should i end this meeting for all yes so thank you for joining today and do join for the next session also